this film, we're gonna show you how to cut, paste, and hang your wallpaper. Some wallpaper comes ready pasted, some requires the adhesive to be applied to the wall, and others require the adhesive to be applied to the wallpaper. Today, we're going to be applying the adhesive to the wallpaper. We'll assume you've already prepared your walls, hung lining paper if necessary, and have purchased your wallpaper. If you still need to do any of these jobs, then check out our first film in this series, How to Hang Wallpaper Part One, Preparation. The first job is to decide where you're going to start papering. For a flat plane wall, it's best to measure up and find the middle and start there. Then work outwards towards the corners. Starting in the middle should give you an overall balanced look when you're finished. If the wall has a focal point, such as a chimney breast, it's best to start in the center of this. For multi-wall or all-over decoration, start 50 centimeters from the corner adjacent to the window. Use a plumb bob and string and a pencil to help you mark a vertical line on the wall where the edge of the first length of wallpaper needs to go. Temporarily fix a small nail in the wall at the top. Attach the string and let the plumb bob swing freely until it settles. Mark the wall under the nail and under the point of the plumb bob and every 40 to 60 centimeters behind the string. Remove the string and the plumb bob and use a long straight edge to join up the marks. Alternatively, if you have a long spirit level, you could use this to mark up the vertical line. Before unrolling the wallpaper, measure the height of the wall from the ceiling to the top of the skirting board at your chosen starting point on the wall. What's that? 2.37 meters. We need to add 100 millimeters to allow for final trimming, so the cutting length is 2.47 meters. It's always a good idea to unroll the paper and inspect it before you start to make any cuts. You need to find your starting point on the wallpaper. If your wallpaper has a repeat pattern, for example, the start of the roll is not always going to be the top of the pattern. If you aren't sure which way up the pattern should run, you can always check in store. Once you have your starting point, you're ready to cut the first length of wallpaper. Now unroll the wallpaper with the pattern facing the table and measure out your length using a tape measure. Then place a small weight or a piece of wood on the end to stop it rolling up. Mark the cutting length and then holding the roll, Fold the wallpaper back on itself at the cutting mark. Line up the edges of the paper and then make a crease across the paper. This will give you a nice square line to cut to. Fold the paper back and cut along the crease line using wallpaper scissors. Once you've cut your sheet, mark on the back which end is the top to avoid mistakes later on. Before you start pasting the paper, check the instructions to see what type of adhesive is recommended. Some adhesives have to be mixed with water and some come ready mixed. We're gonna be using this ready mixed adhesive. If you're using a flake paste that you have to mix, always follow the manufacturer's instructions and be especially careful not to over dilute the solution. Roll out the wallpaper on the table with the side to be pasted facing up. Use a piece of batten or a similar object to weigh down the end of the paper as you unroll it, or you can back roll the paper to help keep it flat. The table is shorter than the length of paper, so you won't be able to unroll it all in one go. Keep one edge of the paper lined up with the edge of the table and make sure you have a dust sheet down to catch any excess strips of paste. With your work area prepared, you're now ready to apply the adhesive liberally using a firm but smooth brush movement. Start in the center from the bottom of the sheet and then work outwards towards the edge that is lined up with the edge of the table. Slide the paper across the table and line the other edge of the paper up with the edge of the table. Then apply the adhesive to this side. Mm -hmm. 
Now fold the section that you have pasted using a concertina fold. Slide the paper along the table and apply the adhesive to the remaining section and fold as before. Your paper is now pasted ready for hanging. Remember to wipe down your table in between pasting each sheet so that you don't get any adhesive on the face of the paper. You may need to wait a few minutes for the adhesive to soak into the paper before you can hang it. Check the wallpaper and adhesive manufacturer's instructions. Carefully pick up the first sheet, checking that any pattern is the right way up. Hold the paper at both sides and don't let the lower paper drop suddenly as this could cause a rip. Starting at the top, position the sheet so that its right edge is aligned with the vertical pencil mark and so there's about 50mm above the ceiling or edge of any coving for trimming. Take your time here to get the positioning of the wallpaper exactly right. Make sure that the right hand side is perfectly aligned with the pencil line all the way down. You can now start to smooth the paper down using a paper hanging brush, keeping your eye on the alignment with the pencil mark as you go. Work carefully and slowly, brushing and smoothing the sheet from the center out. Try not to create any trapped air bubbles. If there are trapped air bubbles, gently pull the sheet away from the wall and brush it down again. Sometimes blisters will appear when the wallpaper starts to dry. If this happens, gently lift the paper again and smooth out the air trap beneath. Don't wait until the paper is completely dry. If you need to, use a damp sponge to wipe off any surplus adhesive as you go. Don't rub it with a dry cloth. Now you're ready to trim the wallpaper. First, using the wallpaper scissors, work the wallpaper into the junction between the wall and the ceiling or coving. You could also use a thin rounded object or the edge of your wallpaper smoother to get a good sharp crease. You have two trimming options. You can either peel the wallpaper back, cut along the crease with sharp wallpaper scissors and then brush the paper back in, or cut the wallpaper in position using a straight edge and sharp snap off blade knife. Repeat the same process for the junction between the wall and the skirting board. Remember to wipe off any adhesive left on the wall with a damp sponge. And that's the first sheet hung. The next sheet is hung in a similar way, but be sure to match the patterns up from one sheet to the next before you cut the sheet to length. So start at the top with a little overlap onto the ceiling. Aligning the right hand side of the new sheet to the left hand side of the first sheet so that the patterns match and it's exactly straight down all the way to the bottom. Smooth it down with the brush and then use a wallpaper seam roller to run down the join between the two sheets. Crease and trim the top and bottom edges. Don't press too heavily when using the seam roller on textured wallpaper or you might flatten the pattern. Then work all the way along the wall. And that's basic wallpaper hanging. Of course, you're certain to run into corners and obstacles such as windows and radiators and electrical fittings as you wallpaper. To see how to work around those, check out the next film in this series, How to Hang Wallpaper Part 3, Corners and Obstacles. For more ideas and know-how, visit DIY.com. <laughs>